hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to try doing my unboxing of the latest set of 40k, 40K cold press, which turned up last, uh, turned up Monday, Saturday, Sunday. I can't remember what day it turned up. It's been here a while, but I'm going to try doing this now. I'm going to set up my camera on my desk like I always do, and um, show you what models are in it, what uh, what's in each magazine. Now I know there's not really any Death Guard stuff in here. So it's not going to affect my painting. I've got three Death Guard models which I haven't fully painted. Uh, one is half done, which is the bloke drone, uh, and then I've got Typhus and the Lord of Contagion, which is the guy with the big axe. Um, and I will be getting to them when I get back into painting properly, which at the moment isn't happening. But um, hopefully I might get some done today. Getting that bloke drone would be cool because it'll leave me with five left to do for the year uh, for my 200 target. Um, we we'll just got to see. I mean, but I'm going to set the camera up and we're going to start unboxing these uh, issues. Right, so here we go. Um, so in this set, we've got issues 55, 56, 57, and 58. So we're going to start with issue 55. Let's uh, I'll zoom out a little bit. No, that's in. That's it. There you go. Issue 55. Uh, we're gonna open it up. Now this is more terrain. Like I said, there's nothing for Death Guard in these this month. So we'll give you a look at the terrain to start with. So they caught this the Alchemite pipes. So now I've got a set of these because it all came with um, Shadow War Armageddon quite a while ago now. Um, but having more of it means I can populate my board better. Now, this thing here, I've always thought it looks kind of like an escape pod. Now, if I show you, that's what I mean. Now, I want to make it actually into an escape pod. A crash escape pod in a crater and all that kind of thing. Um, the other pipes and stuff are just what they say they are. Pipes and stuff. There you go. Magazine. Uh, just bear with me. Sort my camera out. There we go. So, <clears throat> first things first, they're going to talk about orcs, which is another another of factions in 40k. Uh, orcs basically just include all the green skin races, so you orcs, Gretchen, that kind of thing. Um, tell you about the Orc clans. So you've got the Goths, the Bad Moons, the Death Skulls, the Evil Sons, the Blood Axes, and the Snake Bites. Um, sh showcasing some Orc models, I assume. That's the Stomper there. It's a model I've always, always liked, but I've never had a reason to actually buy one. Um, more Orcs. So you've got Death Dread, uh, the Orc Boss, so Orc Knobs. Now, Orc Knobs don't laugh, is their shortened word for nobles um it got flash kits uh you've got uh, that's a mech that's a mega knob that's a orc biker uh, and that's one of their new vehicles so yeah and then they're going to talk about imperial fist successor chapters um now i yeah they've got these are new ones hammers of dawn i've never heard of them before um so yeah, so some nice uh, different ideas. If you want to paint Imperial Fists, but not paint it yellow. Sorry about this, my camera's been really awkward today. It's probably because it hasn't been used in a while. But there you go. Um, and then obviously you've got the Black Templars and the Crimson Fists, which are the most popular ones, people know the most. Um, new history stuff, Chaos Rising Part 2. Um, Showing you how to build the um, the terrain that come with this issue. Uh, see all the instructions and stuff. Now you don't have to build it like this. You could build it something differently, which is what I'll be doing. Uh, then obviously showing you how to paint it. And more how to paint it. Uh, and then how to use it in your games, uh, which is the actual rules for the terrain. Now. 
generally 40k hasn't got rules for most most of the terrain um, but maybe they're throwing a bit in which is fine and then you've got the actual mission itself uh, called septic sabotage which is great another mission to play at some point if I ever get around to playing the missions right so issue 56 <coughs> and in here you get Space Marines now these are the guys from Dark Imperium that you haven't had so far so I'll start with I'll get rid of all these bases because there's quite a few bases put them up there on my desk so this is the sprue you've got the Primaris Ancient on there let's see what you actually have got you've got best thing to, to see what you have got is on the back of the other magazine so you've got yeah you've got a Primaris Ancient which is the banner there and random bits you've got two lieutenants and you've got five intercessors so that's quite a basically you've got three elite choices there or sorry you haven't you've got two hq choices uh an elite and a troop choice that is basically a, a, a patrol detachment and these models i've seen before i have two sets of these already um not likely that i'll be building these if my nephew doesn't want them i might sell them off or give them away i'm not sure yet but issue 56 Starts off with uh, telling you about the primary Ancients. Now they're the banner bearers. They're the, they hold the big flags and stuff. Um, obviously the primary ones. You can get standard ones. Um, I, I have one for my Blood Angels. I'm telling you about the Ultra Ring Second Company Ancient. I'm telling you about chapter organisation. How it, how each chapter is set out. And this is specific for the Ultra Rings. But... The Ultra Rings are the standard for most Space Ring chapters, so you follow this is what most Space Ring chapters will be. So that's the, obviously it's the Primarch, Roberto Gilliman. Minus Calgary is the Chapter Master, he was in charge of the Ultra Rings before Gilliman was resurrected. Um, telling you about the Armoury, the Apothecarian, the Reclusium and the Librarius. The Reclusium is where the Chaplains are, the Armoury is for the Vehicles, the Apothecarian is the Healers. Librarius is all the psychics. The first company, which is m mostly Terminators, but you've got some veterans in there as well. And then you go first, second, third, uh, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and then the tenth company is the scout company. Um, it's basically the recruiting company. So that's where the space marines learn their trade. Um, Saying about raising the banner high, Grey Knights. This is about Grey Knights, this bit. And the space room reinforcements, how to build them. Now, I would expect this issue might be a bit bigger than normal because you've got lots. So you've got the two lieutenants, uh, you've got the intercessor sergeant and the four marines, and then you've got the ancient. Um, makes it's quite a lot, you get quite a lot in this issue, space room wise. Which is great, except I'm not collecting any more space rings. I've got enough as it is. <laughs> Painting ultra rings. Again, we've seen this issue after issue. Why they go back to it, I don't know. Obviously, painting the ancient. And uh, maybe showing how to do some detailing, like the uh, recess shading, which is great. Um, yeah, they're, they're showing recess shading, which is fine. Uh, basing again. And that's how you guys will look if you paint the Ultramarines. Um, rules for using the Ancient, obviously. So you've got the rules for the Primaris Lieutenants, rules for the Ancients, and that's the actual mission there. Um, so you, the mission is called Capture the Banner. So there you go. That's issue 65, or 56, sorry. Now issue 57. You get two whole paints, which are the paints I'm using currently, but I don't use a lot of. So you've got Thousand Suns Blue, and you've got Temple Guard Blue. Again, more paints, not really fussed by it. 
And this is issue 57. I'm talking about the uh, Ravenwing chapter, which is another chapter of Space Marines. Um, now, I have noticed a lot of this, a lot of this 40k conquest is based on Space Marines. It's not really aimed at the Death Guard. The Death Guard are there purely to be an army that your enemy can, that the Space Marines can face. So, um, yeah, talking about how there's their squad markings and stuff. Uh, that's what one of their banner might look like. Um, Legacies of Secrecy, which is about the Raven Guard again, because they are very everything's hush hush and they're infiltrators basically. Um, talking about Stone Guard's veteran Space Marines, uh, which are the non Primaris guys. Although that guy looks like he's in Primaris armor, but anyway. And um, so, yeah, they're Stone Guard models. Uh, talking about Demons of Nurgle, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Uh, and then, so you obviously you've got Nurgle there, you've got Zinch. Um, and I love that model, I just have no reason to buy one of them. Um, it's actually been nice to paint. This is, this is a lot of change. Uh, this is actually the, the, the character one called Karas uh, Fate Weaver. Um, they're doing a bit of a showcase of thousand of demon Zeech models. So you've got Flamers, you've got the Changeling, uh, you've got Screamers, uh, Brimstone Horrors, Blue Horrors and Pink Horrors. Um, going on to a bit of Death Guard background, so Scourge Stars. Give you a bit of a history of that. And basically what they're doing with this now is they're showing you how to use the two colours you got to paint plasma, which is fine. And obviously on the terrain as well. And uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. May even do my own stuff like that as well. That looks that does look pretty cool. And uh, new mission is Scorched Earth. Uh, so plasma harvest. So obviously using the terrain that you've just painted all the plasma stuff on. So yeah, another, another little mission, pretty cool. And then you've got issue 58, which this one is another space room uh, model, which is a space room attack bike. Now, you would have seen this model already, this bit, this is a space room bike. And this is the, the add-on bits, this is the attack bike that goes on it. Um, now there's already been, I want to say two Space Room bikes, it may only just be one, I'm not sure. Um, but the attack bike basically gives it a heavy weapon on the side, which is cool. I've got one for my Blood Angels, not painted, but there you go. So yeah, a Space Room attack bike, so you've got the multi melter there, you've got the heavy volter there, and the Space Room gunner. And then issue 58, now it does come with a, a big base. You also get a new uh, mat, which is double sided. Um, I haven't found any use for really use these, but it's nice they include it in there. Issue 58, uh, so you're sending you about space for an attack bike. But basically, they're a fast-moving gun platform. Um, now, in this edition, uh, they suffer with having to move and shoot the heavy weapon, which makes it not as great to hit, but anyway. Um, so that's the White Scar attack bike. So they've gone back to um, talking about Ravenwing again, the Legacy of Shadow. Well, that may just be a, a bit of an update on history, I think it is, yep. Then they're going to talk about the Tau Empire. They're basically going through the different enemies that the Imperium are facing at the moment. So the Tau Empire, uh, my my bane, I don't like playing against Tau. So the showcase, you've got Commander Shadow Sun, and then that's Commander Farsight. And you've got uh, Tau Ethereal, which is Anshi, I think his name is. Um, 
that's the carrots are ethereal they're basically they're like religious leaders um you've got a commando in a in a crisis suit uh you've got a stealth suit that's a cadre fireblade who's like the leader of the fire warriors uh that's a pathfinder uh that's a vespid and that's a crew um, they actually don't show the actual standard guys but there you go and more showcasing of it uh, including some bigger bigger stuff so how to build the attack bike it's standard basically you build the bike as is as it as it was for the others and then you add the attack bike bits um, and how to paint it so they've actually started to say about undercoating now which is great um, just undercoating by by hand is a bit it's not great um, base coating and shading um, then you're basically your um, highlighting and uh, yeah details and stuff and then the finished model should look something like that um, Rules are for vehicle assault, assault and my magazine's falling apart. It's okay. Um, so, tell you, there's two ways you can fill the attack bikes. You can either have them in a squad of three bikes, three attack bikes, or you could take them as part of a biker squad. Um, now, this is the mission biker breakthrough. I assume it would have bikes, and that is all of my if, uh, issues today. So. Looking at the back of this one, so this is what we've got coming. So the next issue, we've got more Marines, so you've got, basically these should finish off squads now. So you've got the last intercept, Interceptor, the two Intercestors, and two Hellblasters should finish your squads off. And then what I'm after is Poxwalkers, um, and a Plague Marine with a Plasma Gun. Now I've got parts for that already, just waiting for the rest of it to be um, to turn up so I can build it um, and that's it that's issue 58 so we've only got 22 issues left right so yeah that's been the unboxing of issues 55, 56, 57, 58 um, so we've got 22 issues left to go so you're basically looking at another 5 months six months so but looking towards the end of it i mean i've got a list of what's in each one although not complete um you've got the last six issues have no death guard stuff at all um which is a shame but uh that you do get a relatively big model in there so it's not too bad um so my plan is to have to carry on and get these all painted now i had my first game with my death guard my first proper game of 40k um now my death my death guard army is by no way competitive it's not built in a way to annihilate the enemy and wipe everyone out and win games all the time and i played against orcs done quite well um i actually lost the game but it was very very close um but it does it did show that i need to have more stuff in the army i mean the pox walkers did really well except uh once they were out of position they're kind of useless because they're really slow um the death guard themselves the actual plague marines they put out a lot of firepower so that's pretty good uh the terminators die quite easily which is unfortunate um but yeah it's um it is what it is uh but yeah, it's um, it's nice to have got them on the battlefield. Um, the only model I paint, played with which wasn't fully painted was Typhus. Uh, everything else was fully painted, so pretty cool. Um, but I will be doing another one of these unboxings when the next set comes out. Uh, I'm going to try and do some either building or some painting today. Um, so I may paint some Death Guard, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, thank you very much if you've watched any of these. Um, Please feel free to subscribe, uh, like my channel, uh, or like and subscribe to my channel, that sounds better. Um, 
and I will try to put out some more uh, videos, uh, more video content over the next couple of months. We'll just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. I will see you soon. Bye bye.